Cleaning Nation. Welcome to another episode of the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast. As always, I am so excited to hang out with you today. Before we jump in, I would be remiss. I would be criminal if I didn't tell you to go to growmycleaningcompany.com. You will find hundreds. I mean that literally. Like I think we've done almost 400 podcasts, which means blogs, which means videos, which means all sorts of cool stuff. And the, uh, the, the crown jewel of them all is the video I just made for you, a absolutely complimentary on-demand uh, training that will help you take your cleaning company to the next level. All of this super gooey, fantastic goodness is at growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now and uh, make your life easier. Today, we are chatting with Isaac Kuhn, or Kuhn, depending on who you talk to. He just started Super Clean Office. Uh, they are going to serve the West Palm Beach area in Florida with commercial cleaning services. Isaac, welcome to the show, my friend. What is up, Cleaning Nation? I am super excited to be on the show. Loving the energy, man. What's uh, How did you... Let's ask a couple questions, and we'll, then we'll see if we can help you. What brought you into the... Uh, cleaning universe what made you decide to to start this journey and how did you get connected with cleaning nation well i ran a pool cleaning company for five years before um i decided to drive that into the ground um and i did a lot of learning from that then i went and worked for other people which i also don't recommend and the girl that i'm dating right now is found your podcast and she was talking about opening up a cleaning company and she turned me on to your podcast, and then I listened to a couple episodes as I did some research and said, there's money here. And I listened to a couple more podcasts, and then I asked her if she wanted to become partners, and she said yes, and the rest is history. Well, beautiful. Welcome to the Cleaning Universe. Welcome to the Cleaning Nation Universe. Uh, honored to have you on the show, man. Let's see if I can't help make your life a little bit better. What's going on in your world? How can I help? So I have a really simple question. It's uh, in your course, um, it, you talk about a shock and awe package that you can give your clients to stand out head and shoulders above everybody else. And we niche down to law firms. Um, so that's going to be our main focus. And I want to know what I can do for law firms for a shock and awe package that just blows their socks off and they just look at it like they don't have any other choice but us. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let me put a little context around that just to catch everyone up. So first and foremost, uh, I think Isaac was one of the last folks to get into the Clean Profit Method, which is our program. We used to offer that as a standalone program. We have transitioned out of that, because, and the reason I'm bringing this up is we get a lot of people asking for it, and uh, it'd be nice to just answer it all at once as opposed to uh, single email by single email. Currently, the only way to get access to the Clean Profit Method is for us to help walk you through it. We have found that people are just getting massively different results uh, when we walk them through it and give them support as opposed to just giving the information and letting them on their own. So that's what we're doing. That video that we talked about at the beginning is all sorts of training. At the end, uh, you'll get the opportunity to do a breakthrough session with me. Uh, and at that point, if I think I can help you, at that point, we could talk about the Clean Profit Method, whether it makes sense for you or not. So anyway, everyone asking, uh, not trying to turn this into a big sales pitch, but I did want everyone to know that keeps emailing me. That is not available. You cannot uh, just sign up for the Clean Profit Method. There's a process and we'll walk you through it. That said, we can still help you right now, both Isaac and Cleaning Nation, on uh, to answering your question of the shock and awe package, which is step six. And we talk about, um, I think it's six, step six, module three, which is a shock and awe package. The concept behind that is instead of just giving a bid, you know, scratching out on you know, in crayon on a napkin and sliding across to the guy, how to put together a package that's really going to blow them away. So um, let's talk about what that would look like for law firms. And hopefully everyone that's not, everyone that's serving law firms, steal this immediately and do exactly this. Everyone not doing law firms, this this methodology of figuring out how to uh, customize it for your audience uh, will still be the same. You can use it to figure out how to do it for you. So first and foremost, uh, hopefully, if you've gone through the clean profit method, you've you've done um, some perfect prospect surveys, hopefully, and you've got a very clear picture of what their pain is. Can you share with me what the lawyer's pains that you want to serve in West Palm Beach is? Yeah, actually, my uh, sister is a lawyer, so I got to talk in depth with her about exactly what her pain with her cleaners is, and it, it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's them not showing up on time, um, them having to micromanage what accounts uh, that they have and what they're doing. So if they're not doing something, they're contacting them all the time to figure out what the heck is going on, why, why do I have to micromanage your company, I'm trying to run my own company here. So it's pretty much they don't want to take their time. A lawyer is 350 to $450 an hour. If they take one hour to micromanage their cleaning company, that is a lot of money. Perfect. And that's really insightful. So there's 
the why and the what anytime there's pain. The what is uh, I have to micromanage and I don't like it. That's good, right? That's better than just we want better cleaning or less cheaper cleaning, right? That's that's superficial. That's just a, a response that's not really thought through. Um, we want to save time. We don't like um, we want to save time. We don't like to uh, have to micromanage you or, or deal with that. That's a that's a better pain. That's closer. The why behind that what is probably even better. And I like that you touch on. It. You're like, hey, these people make three hundred three, you know, three, four, five hundred bucks an hour billable. So if they're fooling with their cleaning company, that's not only are they not doing something they're excellent at, i.e. practicing law, but it's costing them hundreds of dollars. So I think that why behind the what is always good. So super lucky, super helpful, insightful. If you've got uh, one of your, if you either belong, right? If you're a lawyer wanting to have a niche of lawyers, that's a great thing. I owned a cleaning company. That was my first uh, business was a service master commercial cleaning company. So I'm, I feel like I'm a little more qualified having walked in your shoes. Always great if you are a part of your own niche. If not, if you've got family, friends that are willing to talk through with you, uh, what their pain is really, really helpful. The only thing I want to give you is don't just rely on one person, right? If you talk to one person, it's like, no, nah, I don't have any pain around my cleaning company. You wouldn't, um, immediately eliminate that niche. It could still be a great niche. Um, maybe that just one person had a unique experience. And then the same with the reverse If one person has tons of pain around one thing. You have to verify that that's the case, um, throughout your niche. So you're going to want to have, I mean, gosh, five or 10 conversations would be ideal and start looking for a theme. So I will assume that you have or will have multiple conversations and we verify that their pain is um, time. I don't want to waste my time um, fooling with the cleaning company. We want to practice law. Is that a good summary? Yep. Okay, cool. So the key to the shock and awe package is really one big one and one little one. I'll give you the little one first. The little one is packaging. Um, if you send an email... No matter how good that email is, you might have the cure to cancer in that email. It's still only going to get a 20% open rate, right? Like people just are not going to open. <laughs> people will never know. The secret will die with you because no one's going to open it. Um, you could send a postcard and 100% of, eh, not 100, but a much larger percentage of the people are going to see that postcard and some percentage will engage with it, right? Because it's, it's already open. They don't have to do anything. If you send a salesy looking piece of mail, um, you know, maybe 20 or 30% will open it. If you send a white envelope, and I promise you're like, what does this have to do shock and awe? We're getting there, I promise. If you send a white envelope with a live stamp and a handwritten, or at least looks like a handwritten uh, address and return address, you will get nearly a 100% open rate. Is that fair? Like just the packaging it comes in has a big deal, right? Have you ever received, uh, Isaac, a handwritten white envelope with a live stamp, not the, the, the metered stamp, but a live stamp with a handwritten and not, and thrown it away without, uh, without opening it. Never, never, nor have I. So your, your open rate will go to a hundred percent. Your open rate by the person that you want it to get to might be still 80, 90%, right? Some of those don't, some of those people don't open their own mail. Um, but even some of the, the gatekeepers might still pass it along if it's well done. And some of them may not open it because it looks private and personal. So, um, the next step up, so a shock and awe, and again, I'm going cheap because, um, for a shock and awe for a lawyer that, or for a contract for a commercial that might be worth 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 50 grand a year is going to be different than a commercial or a residential. It's like, Hey, my clients are only two, 300 bucks a month. So a relationship might only be worth two or three grand a year. Um, so I'm trying to kind of step up so we can see different levels of packaging depending on the person. Uh, one step up from the, the handwritten and the handwritten is going to cost you time or money, right? You got to pay someone to handwrite it, you got to handwrite yourself. Um, so that costs time or money up, up from that would be a FedEx package, right? Depending on where you are, where it's sending, that might be 20 bucks, something like that. Um, Isaac, have you ever not opened a FedEx package ever? Ever. Me neither, ever. <laughs> so your, your open rate for that will go higher and you can send some lumpy, you can send some more fun stuff, right? You can send a bottle of Advil saying, you know, Hey, if you have headaches, let us, you know, let us, let us solve your headache. You could send them a $20 bill and say, Hey, if, uh, I guarantee I can save you 10 of these, right? If their rates 400 bucks an hour, uh, if you'll meet with me for 20 minutes, right? Something like that. So that would be obviously a little more expensive, but the packaging now would be uh, an attention getter. And again, if this is a ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollar year relationship, that might be worth it. Um, the step up from that, I would, love that. Yeah, exactly. And it's there's a lots of the, the bigger you get, the more stuff you can put in it, right? If you just send them a postcard, there's not a lot you can <laughs> words on that postcard's about it. You get an envelope, you can stuff something small in it, but not a bottle of aspirin. You get a FedEx package, you can FedEx them some pretty cool stuff. Um, in the, uh, clean profit method, the picture I use the sample I've used before is I've get a, and I wish I'll see if I can uh, put a link to it, but at Harbor freight has these beautiful silver cases that are like what you'd use to uh, carry like sound equipment, like microphones or something expensive. It's a silver, like stainless steel polished case. 
um, that's got the black like foam in it that you'd like place stuff in. And I think they're like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. They're not very expensive. I get them from uh, Harbor Freight. And um, again, if I can put a link, I will. Those are super fantastic. You can put whatever you want in it. So the pa- that's the packaging. That's the first piece, which believe it or not, I've been talking about a lot. It's a small piece, but if you don't get it opened, it doesn't matter what's inside of it, right? You have the cure to cancer. You emailed somebody, it'll probably, <laughs> your secret will die with you. You send it in a, in a white envelope, it's probably going to get open. You send it in a FedEx envelope, it's definitely going to get open. You send it in a big silver box, not only will it get opened, likely they'll keep that silver box around their office because it's too nice to throw away. It's too big to throw away. And then when other people come in, other lawyers, ideally, because lawyers deal with lawyers all the time or their clients or whoever goes, who, who, what is this? How did you get this box? You'd be correct. My janitorial company s- sent it to me. You'd be insane. You know, you could even have your logo outside the box if you want. And people could just see it, right? Um, so that's the, that's the packaging and that's key. If you don't get it open, it doesn't matter how good your message is. Any questions, thoughts on that before we move on to the, the even bigger key? That is awesome. That's exactly what I needed. Cool. And we're only halfway there, Betty. Gets better from here, Isaac. Um, the <laughs> next piece is the, what you put in it, right? And that is the key customization is absolutely huge here. And again, for a $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 a year contract, we can get a little nutty with it, right? If it's only two or 3,000, I get you may or may not be willing or able to do this. But customization is key. So if I was going for lawyers, instead of going, what do all lawyers want, which I could do, right? If there's something I knew all lawyers wanted, I don't know much about lawyers, but um, again, you you better, right? Because it's your niche, right? So um, certainly we could do Advil because a lot of them have stress. Certainly we could put money and say, hey, we understand your time is money and there's more where this came from. If you meet with me, I guarantee I show you a way I can save you $1,000 a year. And if I don't, here's I'll, I'll give you another 100 bucks or something like that. Uh, or you can write a check to them, whatever you want. But customization is key. So if I've got a lawyer and I know who the decision maker is for that twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year relationship, I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm going to go on LinkedIn. I'm going to find out what they want. If this guy's a Doobie Brothers fan, I'm going to go online and see if I can go to eBay and buy a signed Doobie Brothers CD for fifty bucks, right? Or um, if he's a fan, he likes a certain kind of cigar, a certain kind of alcohol, a certain author, a certain uh, band, a certain. Um, if he has a band, right? You could go buy his T-shirt for the band and put it in. In there right to just find out about this human being you gotta do a little stalking but on the internet sadly scarily but good for us marketers you can get a lot of information on the internet about about folks right so try to do it in a way that's not creepy but if you just find some gifts or some things it's like oh my gosh this guy got this for me how did he know right it's a it can be very impactful so customization is huge so i wouldn't just send a shock and all package to all lawyers because again if it's a $500 relationship yeah I'm going to systematize and just have the same package for everyone if it's a $15,000 relationship I'm probably going to customize it for each guy or gal and you send one of these you should be getting more than half of the people that you bid right if you send you spend a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks on a shock and all package at least half should be letting you uh, give them a bid the second thing is I like customizing a video so I would probably shoot a video um, of me going hey Isaac, I know that you, uh, if you're like most of the lawyers that we take care of, I know that you were sick and tired of managing your, your janitorial company and it's like money going up in smoke and I'm going to light like a $20 bill on fire. I think that's illegal. So don't do that if it's, if it's not legal, a fake $20 bill, whatever you got to do. But I'm going to say, hey, Isaac, right? It's going to start with, hey, Isaac, and it's going to be right to him. If you really have to systematize it, you can always... Um, create one video that's the same for everybody and just create an automated um, introduction for some people. So you could, you know, just the first five or 10 seconds would be like, Hey, Isaac, just, I made this little video for you. You can't wait to see. And then it would cut to the, the audit, you know, the, the systematized part. Or uh, again, if it's, if it's an expensive enough thing, I'm going to customize it to them. Hey, Isaac, I know that you're managing, you know, uh, Cun Johnson and, you know, Milson, whatever law offices. And I heard a nasty rumor that you guys are getting driven nuts and wasting time. You guys are way too smart for that. You know, I'm going to make a customized video. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to customize a video to them and their pain using their name and their whatever. Uh, even better if you can get a referral. Hey, you know, Johnson Johnson over here told me to call you guys and said I could help you. Um, give them some unique selling proposition, pain point, pain point, pain point. And then I'd have some things in the shock and awe to solve the pain point. I'll do, uh, I'll do, uh, I've sent popcorn, like that you can go to like get the Jiffy Pop that you put on, like the old school that you put on the stove and it pops up. Um, you can send them that and say, hey, while you're, you know, before you start this, this little video, grab, and then I put Jujubes, like the, the movie kind, you know, grab some popcorn, let's have a movie, let's hang out, and then um, that's how I do it. So packaging is the first part, customization is the second part, really understand who they are, make a custom message for them, and packaging that's going to blow their socks off. Very hard for you to do this to them when they're, their cleaning company won't even return their calls, and you're sending out freaking shock and awe packages with custom-made videos. They're like, if this is what it's like, 
to be this guy's prospect? What must it be like to be his customer for crying out loud? So that's what I got. Questions, comments, rude remarks? You're awesome. Thank you. My loyalty to you is fierce. (laughs) (laughs) This is is amazing. dude. You are incredible at what you do. (laughs) I've never had fierce loyalty. I've had loyalty. I've had appreciations, but the fierce loyalty, that's a first, Isaac. You get a plaque. Absolutely. Um, All right. Well, let's hit the lightning round, man. As as much, I appreciate uh, the the good feedback, but I want to give you a chance to share some of your experiences. Let's hit the lightning round. Three quick questions. Um, followed by three amazing answers by Isaac. As we do that, remember, Cleaning Nation, the, the uh, lightning round is sponsored by the video at growmycleaningcompany.com. It will get you started. It will get you to the next level of your business. It's totally free. Growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now. All right, Isaac, best piece of advice you've ever received, personal or professional? Join the Grow My Cleaning Company Facebook group because you have a gigantic amount of individuals doing the same thing that you're trying to do and i i foolishly joined like a couple weeks ago and i wish i would have joined as soon as i knew about the podcast there is information in there that that is just so imperative and helpful to further along what what, how far i've come so far that it's it's a resource i would never let go great feedback it's totally free if you just uh, go to Facebook and search Grow My Cleaning Company or Google Grow My Cleaning Company Facebook group. I'm sure you can find it. I'll try and put a link to it. Uh, it's totally free. I think there's almost 5,000 owners of cleaning companies in there. And absolutely great feedback. Why would you not leverage the experience of 5,000 other brains? All right. Biggest mistake. I know you're brand new, so this is going to be a tough one. But the biggest mistake you've made in the cleaning business so far, even in this young stage of your career? This is actually an easy one for me. I thought about it for a second, and I listened to all of your podcasts when I first decided to start doing this, and it gave me the idea to do it. But we hesitated on buying the course uh, that you that you have. Once we bought the course and we went through all the modules and started seeing uh, how to put this all into place, it's just incredible. Like that, the biggest mistake was waiting to pay for an education of years and years and years that you have. It's just a silly mistake. We try to do it ourselves, which you can, but it helps a whole lot when you have a teacher teaching you how to do it. Well, thank you so much, Isaac. And uh, Clean Nation, obviously, we're not trying to pitch on a bunch of stuff, but that's just Isaac's uh, true experience. And I thank you for sharing that, Isaac. And again, Clean Nation, if you want more of what we do, it's all growmycleaningcompany.com. And I would absolutely, I couldn't agree more, uh, whether it's me or anybody else that you find qualified to help you in your journey. I spent the last 20 years figuring this out this stuff out by just banging my head against the wall and making far more mistakes, far faster than most of my competitors or people I've worked with. And, uh, it is my life's goal. I'm retired. Right? I sold my last couple of companies for seven figures. So I do this mostly because I love hanging out with you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you can ever find a shortcut or someone that has been there, done that and gotten the results that you want, why would you not listen to that person, whether it's for free or a mentorship relationship or coaching or a course, whatever it is, I'm not trying to pitch you on my stuff, but the concept of finding people that have gotten the result that you want and doing whatever you need to get those people to help you get that result. Good Lord. That's just such a time saver. That is great. Uh, very, very, very insightful feedback for, uh, where you are on your journey, Isaac. Last question. Yeah, just there's f- no shortcuts in life unless you take one of these courses from somebody and it really is a shortcut that's it's amazing yeah i always tell people i want to help i want to help you guys make (laughs) better mistakes than i make right because i made a bunch of dumb mistakes i want you guys to make better smarter new mistakes as opposed to the same stupid ones i made so all right here's a fun one this could be personal or professional the best book you've read ever or in the last couple weeks and again it can be uh personal it can be professional fiction nonfiction, just good books i love sharing uh, stuff like this with cleaning nation a uh, one-page marketing plan. I do not have the author. I know about on me right off the top of my head. Um, I got an Audible version of the book because I can work and listen to Audible, and it blew my socks off for how simplified it made marketing. Tied with what you offer and what the one-page marketing plan has to offer, it's just I am really excited about where it's going to go, and I think I'm going to knock the socks off of the law firm that I market to because of the combination of that book and what you have. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. If I can find the author or link to Amazon, we'll put that up on the show notes page for you. But if not, just Google one page marketing plan. It's frustrating because I think I've read that book and I like it. And I also don't remember the author I'd give it to as well. All right, Isaac, thank you so much for joining us. I got to tell you, man, your passion of where you are in your business is absolutely infectious. It's gotten me fired up. Hopefully it's gotten you fired up. Cleaning Nation, Cleaning Nation. If you want to check out Isaac's show notes page, the special video I made just for you, all of the assets and resources we offer. It's all at growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now. I will see you there. 
Congratulations, you are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.